we need our intuitions to navigate this life because some things cannot be seen. We need another sort of set of eyes. There are things that you cannot see with your physical eyes that only your spiritual eyes can see. Hello Aquarius, I'm so glad you could join me in your weekly reading. The following message is for you as told by the cards. The Hermit Reverse the Shield The Rain The Illusion Reverse the Song The Sand if this is your first time on this channel, I welcome you. I do this reading here every week, so if you'd like to see more of this, I urge you to follow this rabbit down to the subscribe button below, click on it, leave a comment, and while you're down there, leave a thumbs up. It really helps the channel a lot. All right, so let's get back to the reading. The cards are showing me that you are in need of some guidance, my friends, some sort of a wise advisor is needed by you this week my friends it seems as though there is something that is troubling you something is bothering you or something is keeping you not feeling 100 percent and whatever this thing is that it, that you are facing it seems to be something that you've never experienced before it eludes your ability to to fight through obstacles Whatever this is, it's almost like a matter of a spiritual nature. And you as a, you as a person who fights, right? You, you're not afraid to, to fight for yourself, for your beliefs, for the people you love, for the people who rely on you. However, this mental, mental challenge that you are facing, it is something that is completely new to you. So the universe wants you to wants you to have some sort of self internalizing. You have to talk to yourself, meditate, get to know your spiritual side more, right? It's almost like you have been giving so much power to your physical um, body that you have somehow neglected your spiritual body, right? You eat um, you eat food to nourish this body, right? so you can keep doing the things that you need to do for yourself and the people who rely on you, right? But at the same time, my friends, you have to nourish your spiritual body because that is that body is what helps you get through, through uh, obstacles of spiritual nature. It helps you discern, right? It helps you almost like, you know that feeling of uh, gut feeling, that intuition, when you don't feed your spiritual body, you could inadvertently weaken your uh, intuition. And we need our intuitions to navigate this life because some things aren't um, cannot be seen, right? We need another sort of set of eyes, right? You have your physical eyes to see actual danger and you can discern when they are coming towards you. But there are things that you cannot see with your physical eyes that only your spiritual eyes can see. So my friends, take this week to take some time, right? To meditate, get back to your uh, spiritual practices if you had them before. If not, look into developing a sort of spiritual practice, my friends. This is a, like the cards are waving at you saying that you have to give value, not just to your physical body, but also to your spiritual body, right? Because that's how you keep yourself safe from both the seen and unseen uh, dangers that could be lurking around the corner. So we never know what could be lurking around the corner unless, you know, we have that intuition that only comes from sp our spiritual body. So my friends, take this week, right, to meditate, um, seek some uh, spiritual guidance from somebody you trust, from somebody you see in a, in a um, somebody that you believe, right, who is in touch with their spiritual um, nature, because you need all the guidance that you need, right, all the wisdom that someone of, by a master or a teacher, 
of the spiritual stuff, right? So my friends, eat your veggies, <laughs> eat your greens, and also meditate this week because yeah, you need to you need to strengthen yourselves, right? Because there is something 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 out there, right? That could potentially become hazardous to you. Right? So you just need to be prepared at all times, be vigilant, be on your toes. Alright? Being on your toes doesn't necessarily attract bad things to happen to you. You're not materializing or manifesting bad things to happen. But you know, being prepared, being ready is you know, it's good because you are showing the universe that nothing can surprise you. Alright, my friends, if this reading resonated with you, let me know down in the comments below. What do you need me to pay for you, my friends? What do you want me to ask the universe on your behalf? All right, let me know down in the comments below how I can be of, assist of assistance to you. And while you are down there, subscribe to the channel and leave a thumbs up so you won't miss next week's reading. All right, my friends? All right, blessed be.